in this video we are playing the game find the keys so we're starting off on the first level of the backyard so this video will be ordered by the locations there's five maps with 20 keys in each location so that is a total of 100 keys we will be finding in this video there is an order list available in my video description but if you do get stuck with any of the keys please do drop me a comment i will always try and help you the best that i can and if I can ask if you are enjoying this video or any other from Judgment TV, if you can please hit that like and subscribe to help support my channel. So starting off this game, I absolutely love the map. Um, I love that I feel like a kind of borrower, if you've ever seen that film, um, or it's kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, I like the fact that the map is really big and I'm really small. Um, it's simple but effective. And... This game definitely sort of deceived me a little bit. Uh, I came into the backyard thinking, oh my god, look, you've got massive billboards where these keys are with the hints to other ones. Um, but I thought, I'm going to persevere and do all five maps. The maps do get slightly harder as you go through the game. I'd still say that this is quite an accessible game for the younger players of Roblox, um, or those who just want to pass some time and enjoy scavenger hunts. So if you do have some time to pass, do give this one a try. Most of the maps have the sort of similar layout to this one. So there's sort of train tracks that run around the top of the map, which kind of, I like them. It gives a really nice aerial view to each map. Don't know what the coins are for yet. Um, if you know what the coins are for, if you can let me know, um, I'd really appreciate that. I've kind of gone around collecting them for no idea of the purpose. <laughs> um, each map, when you complete them, actually gives you a new perk, which is really nice. And you still retain the perks from the previous maps. So in this map, we're working towards a grapple hook. Quite surprised they give that stuff away for free. Uh, I would have thought that would have been a bit of an income generation like the usual games do, but absolutely great little perk for this game. There is nice long jumps, but it kind of led me to the illusion of uh, thinking I could jump further than I could. <laughs> and this map really is a warm up map. Um, those hint billboards aren't in every map, uh, it's just this one. But they are in the index. If you click on the key, so you can see the last one that I picked up was Apple. Um, this gives you the list of all the 20 keys in the location. Um, you can move between the maps. Um, you don't necessarily need to do them in the order that the game presents them, which is a nice feature. I'm sort of getting a bit jealous like I have a really boring house key it's just like a standard metal key you know I wish I could go down to the locksmith and say you know what I think I want a smiley emoji key this time do you know what I mean that would be ace like proper characterized keys I think there's a business in there like somewhere <laughs> emoji house keys <laughs> 
thing is that opens up the thing for like getting your partner a poop one or something like that. But that'd still be pretty cool. And again, it doesn't matter how small it is, every single time the game that I play has to have a bloody maze in it. I can't get away from them. Luckily this one is super small so even I can manage to do this one. Still hitting dead ends though. <laughs> I suppose if you were really clever you'd memorise it from looking through the glass at the top but I didn't really bother with that. The one thing that I will say that sort of lets this game down compared to other ones um, is that it's not a badge game. Uh, so I would probably maybe consider turning that on if there's any updates or developments. Um, most find the games these days are badge games. See, aside from bragging rights in there, like, is that the whole point of the coins? Like, is it, can you not buy anything? Maybe also consider, like, trails or something for the coins that you, you're collecting. It just seems a bit pointless to have your name on a board. And the sort of sneakiest hiding one of the game is just the hammer up here behind the sign. So we're warming you up for the next map. And as you can see, we have now been given the grapple hook. Moving into the kitchen now. And we now have the inclusion of flying keys that we need to get. <laughs> and I love the power of editing because some of those flying keys I did not get on the first try. <laughs> See, my timing is absolutely shocking. I'm sort of like, you're just embarrassing yourself here now. <laughs> and as you can see around the kitchen, the hint boards have now disappeared. So you will be solely relying on the hints that are in the index.
as you can see, a lot more of the keys move. They aren't static in the map, unlike in the back garden. Although weirdly, we've got tree and clover, which I would associate more with garden and backyard, but hey, we also have flower in the canister. So this is the start of sort of hiding in the objects around the map as well. So this is where they are sort of up in the challenge elements. I believe the hint for that one was in something white. Having the zoomed out view of the map may just help you pinpoint where those keys are flying into. There's also inclusion of more that are kind of hiding and then appearing in kind of intervals. So this one up the plug hole, we have scary key. I mean, if you've ever seen something that comes out without the plug hole, like, you know, as a mom, I have to clean the plug hole, very gross, yeah. But then it's pretty gross and scary what can come out of a plug hole. This game sort of reminds me a lot of that extreme hide and seek where you go around the house and obviously you're really, really small and have to hide. Really bad timing. Uh, I know I suck. Like <laughs> even then, I didn't get it. <laughs> oh dear me. See, look, I don't edit my flaws out. I know I'm rubbish at certain things. <laughs> I am just showing you the in true human style. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not perfect. So this time, this maze sort of thing has got the kill bricks and a bit of obby to complete. dangerous key knife key there you'd end up cutting your hand every time you open your door <laughs> See, look, that would be a very useful key, sort of like a 
a Father's Day birthday gift, you know, someone who likes tools. Um, forget multi-tool, we've got a multi-key now. Stick a screwdriver on the end of that key and it would be a, a perfect little uh, handy key there. <laughs> Again, we have the um, appearing and reappearing key out of the yellow van, bus, whatever that vehicle is down there. Just having that view around the map, I can already see I've got to get to see more of the flying ones. So we've got the tomato can, we can see we've got water over the other side and the yellow one over the other side as well. And goodness, it is a reasonably quick run um, on this game. As ever, this is just my gameplay. Um, you know, you can collect these keys from any point in the map that you want in any way that you want. So here just tracking the water bottle to see where the best place is and you can see that ledge over in the corner it's probably going to be the easiest place to pick that one up from. And as you can see at the top of the screen, the next perk will be a double jump. And here it comes. And then the last key is very sneakily hidden in the corner of the map. And there we have it, that's all for the kitchen. Moving on to the next map of Forest. So again, we've got one of these maze obbies. This time we're heading vertical. And then we've got a sort of glass floor. It, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it sort of like spooked me. I was like, can I walk on that? How am I supposed to get over there? There's a coin. <laughs> and then I realized obviously it was like a glass floor. Duh. Um, but again, we've got another mini maze.
and within this game we have got the um, double jump and we're working towards the speed dash for the next level. And again, this level's made up of a couple of static ones, um, moving ones, and of course, flying ones. I really thought there was going to be one hidden inside all of those graphs. Don't miss the green mushroom which comes out of that big rock at the kind of corner. Making our way down towards the other corner now. Sneakily hidden in one of the rocks. And again, just keep an eye on those flying ones, where's the best place for you to go and collect them. I'm so thankful that they tick off which ones that you found or else I think I'll be trying to go and collect the same ones. I'm quite surprised that one was in forest and not in bedroom but some of these don't really sit with the theme of the actual map but that's absolutely fine. This was the only sort of annoying thing is that obviously the ones that are flying
mine around. I kept kind of throwing myself off and then having to run all the way back round again. We were just on top of spawn to get the yellow bird key. So in the tree, sort of um, overlooking the mushroom patch. we have the violet mushroom key in the branches so the laughing key is in the tree uh, the ramp that's got the white and brown it's the tree directly next to that into the next map of the bedroom. And again with this one they have slightly up the difficulty of some of them. It did make me run around the map a bit trying to find some of them but I still found them all. So again we've got some kind of like, um, again we've got some of the keys kind of appearing and disappearing again. So it's just getting in the right place. Um, the yellow guitar moves all over the bed so yeah I just kind of had to stand in one place until it came back uh, because I was running around the bed trying to anticipate where it might come up. <laughs> um, so yeah it's probably best to stand in the place that you saw it come up in. There is a sneaky one hidden down the side of the bed. Uh, again, this is kind of where I say that they up the challenge element to this game. And if you notice, I haven't necessarily put the keys in the order that I found them in. Um, so I have put them by location just to help you find them a bit more easily.
and this this level has got the dash um it's slightly like wild and uncontrollable so i can't say i use this perk a lot but you still have the grapple hook and you still have the double jump available That was such a lucky flash of that key on my screen that I knew that it was somewhere. So this is toilet and it's actually hidden in the side of the bookcase. Yeah, my timing just sucks like <laughs> I'm so extraordinarily bad at trying to jump up at the right time I'm only on my fourth level of this game and I still haven't learned how to time it <laughs> why these tubes around the top of the map kind of remind me of sort of like hamster tubes that you know you can put together and let your hamster run around it <laughs> that old marble run black chair is at the bottom of one of the kind of mazes we'll have to go through but we'll be going down instead of up this time So making our way into the start of the kind of run for black jets. Head. I mean, thank goodness they've got checkpoints um, or else I would have been restarting this countless times. <laughs> so 
with this I thought was a bit unfair like you literally have to time this perfectly or else one of the kill bricks will obviously squishy um so yeah like the power of editing I look like I did it a couple no it took me a couple of times to do this but just some careful timing and hopefully if you're not a noob like me you'll be able to get through no problems Another sneakily one hidden in the kind of foot of the uh, bookcase, the one that's got the doors on that you can't go in. And we will find red jets. And then another one, sneakily hidden this one, and this is speaker. And this took me ages to find because they said it was hidden under the tracks and so I thought, oh, it'll be like bow, do you know what I mean? It, it'll be a gap that you, you'll be able to drop into every now and again. No, if you go on top of this uh, piece of furniture, you will see speaker come out um, every so often, go away and then come back out again. we go so just be patient with that one it will appear and into the final level of the garden Nice, they've sort of made that look like Lego, like obviously left out in the garden slightly. Um, another more of a kind of challenging one is there is one actually hidden in the wall of the castle. As you can see, it's just in the red section. Up into the rainbow and the clouds now. I'm not sure why there's plants in the clouds. <laughs> that is a tad weird. Um, yeah, not too sure what's going on there. Again, it's one to throw yourself off at the right time, which is obviously not something I'm very good at. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't drop down. Uh, I managed to catch the cloud. But on the third attempt, I get a black fish. Do you think that SpongeBob house key, like with a pineapple on it? <laughs> Again, yellow fish is just a matter of timing.
So right next to pineapple, green fish will come out of the kind of pond bank, river bank, water bank, whatever that is. And of course they can't help themselves, you know, we have another little maze again. get too angry again angry key luckily it was quite a small maze if that was any bigger I probably would have got a bit frustrated Missed one on top of spawn of the kind of arrow key. So I just press that dash and you can obviously see that it is like really uncontrollable. And then for rainbow, it literally pops out with the cloud and then goes away. You just see it in the, in the background there. I was really worried when it said in the clouds that it was gonna be inside one on the wall. Um, luckily they weren't that mean. And there we have it. There is all 100 keys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.